everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my January favorites for 2020 and I'm going to be starting with like the makeup items and then transitioning into like fashion and fashion <laughs> fashion, and then the like little miscellaneous products I always throw in there. I'm like wearing earrings today, who am I? And like I just filmed this look for like a TikTok so that's why my makeup's looking a little like funky but um anyway let's jump straight into the video. item it's not really makeup it's more like skincare so this is the Sorella lemon lightning serum and when I first heard of the company I thought it was Sorella boutique like the clothing but no this is um, a skincare line so this is a little bottle right here and it is nice little ceramic moment I think it's ceramic whatever this is but it, I don't know it feels heavy it feels expensive and the packaging is to die for like do you see this right here like this little box and it like pops up and like this and it just it's like all around super luxurious um this is meant for sunspots and hyperpigmentation red redness and inflammation and I can attest to that I've been going through it with my skin recently um I have um post pill acne so that's been a journey and I'm filming that process right now which I mentioned in another video I just filmed which you will be seeing I think after this one oh no before this one before this one and um this has been a lifesaver uh after like getting my facial and like my skin is super reactive so i get spots very easily from extractions and things like that and um this serum has helped like even out my skin so much and even though i still have like some um acne scars and some hyperpigmentation my overall face just looks even even though i have those darker spots it's so weird but I love this product and I'm swearing by it. Um, so I have been using it, I think, for like a month now. And I, I, I can't live without it. Like I, I started with like samples and then I didn't have samples. And I noticed a difference in my skin having the product and not having the product. And it just helps everything just like relax. <laughs> so the second product I have here is the Lumiere and Blanc Premium Green Tea. Clay mask, I reviewed this mask um, in my previous video, so I'm going to go ahead and link that up here for you. And basically, um, this is a mask I saw Ryan Trahan use during one of his YouTube videos, and I decided to order it from Amazon and use it. It's only $15. I think it's super affordable. It's supposed to be um, for deep cleaning, removing impurities, and controlling oil. Um, I don't know if it like deeply cleans, but it definitely cleans a little bit. And it's not irritating to the skin. I have super sensitive skin, so this does not irritate me. Um, it does not uh, dry me out as long as I go in with like a little bit of moisturizer afterward, which is completely normal. And it's super easy to use, rinse off. It dries really quickly, so I definitely recommend this product. So the other thing I have here is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This has been a lifesaver for me, this product. And I love the way it smells. And so my hair right now, like is straight and like you've seen me have straight hair in my videos before this is not my natural hair texture I have naturally coarse um, curly hair I don't have kinky hair it is curly hair and um, I decided to bite the bullet and get keratin treatment so I believe I did have the treatment that has formidahide or whatever that chemical is the carcinogen um, at least it's not coronavirus <laughs> I need to get off this platform so <laughs> I got that treatment done and um, before I was only washing my hair once a week when I had my curly hair and because my hair did not get like oily whatsoever but now that I got my keratin done I I'm still keeping on that once a week um, thing but I've noticed like towards the end of that week my hair does start to get a little bit greasy and I think it's from just like a combination of like the sweat and like all that stuff because like I work out and these things so right today is my hair washing day so that's why my hair is not looking the best right now and I use this like the other a few days ago or like the other day and it just helps take away some of that greasiness get the hair looking just nice and soft all over again not so like um stringy I would say and this has worked well for that this is safe for keratin treated hair from the research I've done so if I'm wrong leave it in the comments below and I will let everybody know that but um 
yeah, I like this dry shampoo. I've never really used dry shampoo before, so this was like my first kind of like experience with it, and I, I really like it. And now on to shampoo, but not shampoo for us, shampoo for our pups. So this is the Wild One Eucalyptus Peppermint Conditioning Shampoo for Dogs. This smells heavenly, okay? This just like... Ah! You know what? It smells... Okay, it might smell to some of you, depending how sensitive of a smell you have. I like got a little bit of it. Um, this might smell like Tiger Balm to you at first, but the scent is just so rich and it is... Um, it's a gentle cleansing and conditioning treatment while nourishing the skin and coat for dogs. It minimizes itching and dry skin. I don't think my dogs have dry skin, but who knows. Um, this is vegan, hypoallergenic, um, human grade, cruelty free, alcohol free. It's just like healthy, okay? And it's for your pups. And so I picked this up at Nordstrom. This is where I saw it, me and my mom. And we decided to get it for our dogs and I washed both of them with it. Although the scent on the product itself is strong, it ends up being very light on the dogs after you wash them. Like they have just like a really light fragrance of this to them. It's not as potent as it is in the bottle, which is nice so that they're not overwhelmed with their senses and like <laughs> getting drugged up. So yes, this is amazing. I love this for my pups and I love that it is safe for them basically. Okay, jumping really quick into like the fashion stuff. Um, this is my key case. I have um, a Gucci key case. I just have it in black because I don't like to be like too obvious. I don't know. Like I'm not trying to be like a status symbol like with my Gucci key case. I just got it because like I liked it. So this is what it looks like here and this is the card. I just have cards in here. Sometimes I keep cash but I it's just cards um, in there. And the reason I'm talking about this key case is not the Gucci one in particular. Like, that's not the point of this. It's just key cases in general. So if you have a car that's pushed to start, I think a key case is one of the best things that you can get for yourself because you can put, like, your other keys and then your car key on the, ah, on the little key case and then it's all together and all compact and you can just leave it in your bag and it's always together. So, like, you have your ID, you have your key. Like, it's always together. You're not going to, like... Be like, oh, but where's my cards or where's this? It's just all together in one little bundle and it's super easy to carry, super easy to throw in a bag. And um, if, yeah, if you have to push the start, you can like open the doors without needing to like open it like with the, the control. And I think that's really helpful. If I did not have a car that's pushed to start, I would definitely have a card case. I'm not a big fan of having my cards on my phone. Um, I don't think that's very like, safe i don't know i just feel like what if you like misplaced your phone or something happened like your id and your card is like on your phone like you just lost two essential things so um if i didn't have um i i would not use a key case if i didn't have a car that was pushed to start because when i borrowed my mom's car which has like the key um it's annoying to have the key hanging from the it's annoying to have the key case hanging from the key when the key's in and then it's just like hitting your knee. It's super annoying. So if I had like one of those um, keys for my car, I would definitely have those little card cases which have slots on both sides. I feel like wallets are too bulky for me unless it's like a wallet like for like a night out, like it's a statement piece. I'm not a big like bulky wallet fan, like fold open, fold opening, all of that. Too much for me. So I definitely am a fan of this, and if you're like like to keep things minimal, I would definitely go ahead and pick one of these up, um, any style, anything that suits your preference, and just try it out. The other thing that I've been obsessed with recently are my Koi sunglasses. Um, these were the, the collab they did with Kylie Jenner. I think they're the Calabasas. It doesn't matter. I'm just talking about the shape for these, because I literally saw, and I know this is like a generic shape you can get, because I saw someone in my rhetoric writing class that had the same exact sunglasses and it was a guy but they were like mirrored like kind of look like ski goggles or whatever so um i know this is a generic shape so you can get this shape anywhere without having to like pay the quay price and i don't want to like put them all the way on because my makeup's done but they're super huge and before i thought i was being like really extra by wearing these at school i'm like who do i think i am i i like i probably like look so like arrogant I don't know like wearing this wrong but you know what I don't even care anymore I wear this in the car I wear it all around campus because the sun is a blinding and I'm not trying to have wrinkles under my eyes and this just covers like that whole area on me um I have a really tiny head so I think that's another reason why these look so huge but they just cover so much and I feel like it's just protecting me 
from the sun and that's what I need in my life. And finally, my last two products, I have this little Walgreens um, liquid bandage and the reason that um, I like was put on this is because I bought a new pair of shoes and you know what, I'm gonna go grab them because they are so cute and you need to see them but then I'll explain what happened. So I, I, got, I went to go grab the box. I basically, I basically went on a little bit of a shoe shop, shopping spree at the Bloomingdale's outlet um, and I picked up these shoes. They're Steven by Steve Madden and this is what they look like. I think they're super chic, super cute. This pattern is all over Steve Madden shoes right now. However, this style I think is exclusively to outlet type of stores. So like Nordstrom Rack, um, Bloomingdale's outlet, um, those type of like um, discounted product stores um, because I haven't seen this style on at the Steve Madden store and frankly the other ones are like the like full boot and I don't know I just like how this is like um, what is this style I can't remember if you remember what this style is called leave it in the comments below I um, my brain is fried right now but anyway so I got these shoes and I was wearing them and they, I wore them two times in one day and I was fine the first time and then when I put them on the second time in the evening because I was going out on a date, I like, they kind of like felt warm and I was like, hmm, like by my toes. But like I've had blisters before, like I ice skate, like I know like blisters on my feet pretty well. And this is not a very similar feeling to that. And I think I remember looking at my toes and I didn't see anything. And so anyway, I come back from this date and like after walking a little bit, like the pain went completely away. I ended up taking off the shoes. I saw that on my big toes, this is like TMI, so you can skip through this if you don't want to know, but I saw that on my big toes I had um, popped blisters, like skin completely separated, no little like air bowl or anything, and I was like horrified because I need my feet. Like I, I work with my feet, like I need my feet. They need to be doing the most. So anyway, I was wearing like um, bandages, and then my parents were like, why don't you try liquid bandage? And I was like, what the hell is liquid bandage? Or um, I was like, oops, um, and I was like, what is liquid, band? like, I've never heard of this, and my brother's like, try moleskin, I'm like, this is too late in the game for moleskin, okay, like, skin is exposed, I'm not about to put moleskin on my exposed skin, uh, I will in the future put the moleskin on the inside of the shoe to prevent this from happening again, because I love them too much, and, um, so anyway, the liquid bandage was, I think, what allowed them the blister to finally like heal um it's what i found brought me the least amount of discomfort um it felt just like a second layer of skin versus the band-aid did um do a little bit of rubbing and i didn't appreciate that so um liquid bandage for the win i think i'm just late to the game so last but not least i just picked up this dial complete liquid and antibacterial hand soap i am a hand sanitizer uh, I'm not gonna say the word, uh, and I can't live without hand sanitizer. I want to touch. I want to try the Touchland spray hand sanitizer. That seems like so cool to me. But anyway, this is just like a dollar at the Big Lots, and I just like that it said antibacterial. That's the only reason I picked it up, and it's doing its job. I think um, it, my hands feel clean. Um, it smells normal, and it was cheap, and it does its job. So <laughs> that's why this is in my monthly favorites. And that was it for my monthly favorites. If you enjoyed this video, definitely leave it a thumbs up. If there's anything you think I should try, leave it in the comments below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.